Okay, okay, I admit. I've turned into a sucker for anamorphic lenses now. When Sidoy asked me if I wanted to play around with their new 24mm anamorphic lens, I mean, come on, how could I possibly say no? Sadly, due to the new restrictions here in Latvia, it was impossible to organize any big projects to thoroughly test out this lens. However, I did spend a couple of days just walking around the city and getting some dope shots with it. So sit back, grab some popcorn and give me your full attention because ladies and gentlemen, I present you a review of the brand new Sirui 24mm 2.8 anamorphic lens. Let's get the nerdy stuff out of the way first. Specs and build quality. Just like with the 35mm and 50mm pseudo anamorphic lenses, the 24mm is built like a tank. It has a smooth focusing ring as well as a non-clicky aperture ring. However, this time, the lens comes with a 72mm filter thread, which is unfortunate because their other lenses have a 67mm filter thread. Um, I mean, it would have made sense to make all of the lineup with the same filter thread sizes, but I mean, it's not really a big deal, to be honest with you. What I found surprising, though, was the fact that the 24mm lens is a lot heavier than the other lenses, weighing at 810 grams, according to my $1 weights I got from the cheapest convenience store. I could definitely feel the weight difference between the lenses. Even balancing it on my gimbal was quite the challenge because when paired with my Sony Alpha 6500, it was very front heavy. But anyway, that's done and now let's talk about the actual reason why you came here, to see that image. Just like with the 35 and 50mm stereo lenses, the 24mm lens has a soul to it. The image just looks and feels different. My absolute favorite part about this lens is that I finally have a wide anamorphic lens. That was the only thing missing from my collection and finally having it in my hands, I can definitely tell you that it does help a lot. Especially with establishing shots and capturing your surroundings in a way that doesn't feel too compressed. For example, when I was filming the Rigas Old Town with the 35mm, it always felt like it was a tad bit zoomed in and you just couldn't really breathe in the atmosphere in the right way, you know? You know what I mean? I really hope you do, because it sounded way better in my head. Filming with this lens is super satisfying and I enjoyed every single second of it. When I got home and started editing, I was surprised to see that the image coming out of this lens is both sharp in the center and on the corners. Of course it's a lot sharper in the center, but overall image quality is excellent. No complaints there. Remember how in the previous 50mm review I stated that the 50mm lens has less flaring than the 35mm? Well, it feels like the 24mm lens has even less flaring than the 50mm, although I have seen already some other reviews and they say that the 24mm has the most flares, so I'm not really sure what the hell is going on, but uh, yeah, according to my test, it had the least amount of flaring. The only place where I could successfully get tons of flares though was in this light park, but you know, it's quite boring, so we decided to do something funky. Drive a car with Christmas lights around the city and see if this baby can handle it. Well, that was something. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the video. What about the bokeh though? Obviously, the 24mm has the least satisfying bokeh due to the minimal focus distance only being 0.6 meters, as well as the aperture only being 2.8, but the good news is that you can still see its oval shape. The only thing I wish Sirui would have done is made this a 1.8 aperture lens, but that would probably make it 10 times more expensive, so no complaints there. Because at least it's 2.8, not f4. In the conclusion, I am quite sad that I am not able to test out this lens thoroughly on different projects due to the new restrictions in my country at this moment. However, when I get the chance to film dancers with dope lighting setups, oh baby, you already know which lens I will be using. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy the footage I was able to get with this lens and showed you how powerful it can be to have a wide angle anamorphic lens in your kit. Make sure to check out Sirui's Indiegogo project because right now you can get the 24mm lens just for $749 as a super early bird backer. Links in the description below. Hopefully you had an awesome day today, stay awesome and you know the drill. Peace out.